Oh, mama. Which means what? No. What does it mean? Do you know, Jesse Mama? Time for a new video. That's right. Thank you for the intro. <laughs> We're doing talk. a new video, folks. New Today's talk is about something that it's something that I greatly admire about white people. When I was young, I grew up in America. And uh, you always see on TV and on the news, crazy white folks doing things, risking their lives, doing crazy, what we think crazy things, right? Like jumping out of the plane, dive into the ocean without the oxygen tank, uh, what crazy things I can do. Flying off a, br a bridge with a motorcycle, blah, blah, blah. I was doing the crazy things, and we minorities, colored people, really don't understand why. Why would you put your life in such dangers for no other reason and for the longest time? For the longest time, my theory was that, you know, these white people, they're so rich and comfortable in life. They need something to feel alive. They need these thrill. They need to seek these thrills to feel alive. Um, so I would always, you know, well, not just me, but other people would get together and laugh about the stupidity of white people, right? But now that I'm older, I realize, you know what? It is kind of stupid, but, but, and here's the key. Why do you think that the new stuff, the, the, so the interesting uh, scientific breakthroughs, philosophical breakthroughs, lifestyle breakthroughs, um, culinary breakthroughs, all these stuff, tend to always come from Western culture. Western culture meaning that Western Europe um, and North America. Why is it always that it always come from resources? 99% of it. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. And now that I'm older, I understand why, right? It's because in the in the Western culture, in the white people culture, I say, they have this cultural desire to push envelope, to try new things, to push limit, to do things that somebody else has not done before, right? And because of spirit, they're able to push humanities forward, right? Push the human existence to a different level. Sorry to say this, but you know, if you look at Latin culture, you look at um, Asian culture, you look at African culture, we don't have this. We don't have the spirit, right? We always tend to stay with what is safe, what is tried and true, and uh, what's done worked before. We don't. Very few of us are willing to do what do you know, put our lives in danger to to push the envelope. Therefore, therefore, as a result of that. You know, I feel like as, as, as culturally, we are not, it's very difficult for these cultures to ever lead. Because to lead means you have to take risk. You have to do something that has never done before. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So now, I no longer make fun of white people who dump, do crazy things to put their lives in danger. I admire them for the most part, unless they do really stupid things. And there are some of them that really do stupid things. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the show back in, back in the days on MTV called Jackass. And that was some dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> but, for the rest of them, I, I applaud them. I appreciate what they're doing. Because they are, they are the intrepid pathfinders that allow humanity, humanity and the human race to progress forward. Through their failure, through their broken bones, even through their death. They show us what is possible. Um, and because of that... Today, we, all races, should thank them because what we have today is a result of their failed experiment and their successful experiment. Um, so yeah, that's my piece for today.